Michael McIntyre's dad. <laughs> oh yeah. Wayne Rooney walked on the pitch. He got a bask on, he got a mini skirt on, lipstick and high heels. Sir Alex said, no, you're going on as a substitute. Hiya, Barry. Barry's here, Mr. Racker. God bless you, sir. You're safe tonight. I've got to behave myself tonight. God bless you. Great to be here. How are you? Everybody okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm looking around. There's people I know. I'm from Birmingham. There's a lot going on in Birmingham. Most of it unsolved. <laughs> never trust, never trust a gas man with no eyebrows. <laughs> I'm married, I've got five kids, and I come home the other day, and my five kids were sat on the couch. And as I looked at my five kids, I suddenly noticed the one in the middle looked different to the other four. I said to my mum, she said, hey, that one in the middle, has he got a different dad to the other four? She said, yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> Any Birmingham City supporters in? Yeah. Aston Villa? Yeah. Oh, oh, Villa, yeah, fantastic. What's happened to football? Aren't they getting young now? Have you seen that lad that plays for Arsenal called Theo Wolcott? Have you seen him? Young. They pulled him in last week for a drug test. He was full of cowpaw. <laughs> <laughs> I hate drugs. Do you hate drugs? Where's our older guest here? A few grey hairs. Where are you? God bless you. Do you hate them drugs? Aren't they horrible? I hate you. We never had drugs when we were kids, did we? We never had drugs. What did we have? Bugs. Not <laughs> bugs. Nitty Nora, the bug explorer. <laughs> yeah, we used to vanish on Friday, come back Monday morning with a purple head. <laughs> Drugs. I never knew my lad was sniffing glue till he came home with a model aeroplane stuck to his nose. <laughs> Luckily, it was a Messer Smith. <laughs> Have you had it? Have you had it? I've just been talking over there, my mate. He's had it, the chest. Have you had that bad chest? <laughs> Have you had it? Oh, horrible. And you lie in bed for three days sweating like that. Well, I went to the doctors. I was chuffed to death. I was first in. And I, even though I was ill, I sat there with a big smile on my face in the doctors. And as I was sat there like that, I thought, yeah, first in. I got past that woman on reception. You know that woman? Have you got one? When you want to be ill, you know, 2012, November the 5th. Can you be here before seven o'clock in the morning? Soon I've sat there, I'm ill, I'm ill, but I'm smiling because I'm first in the queue. The electric doors opened to the surgery, a little old lady come on, on a stick. Now, if you're on a stick, I do apologise. And she came in and she doubled up like a letter C, like she come in like that. Well, being a gentleman, as our regular members know this, I said, please, love, go before me. And she went in first, she went in first. And when she came out of the doctor's surgery, she was walking straight as a dive. I went to the doctor, I said, excuse me, before you talk about my chest, what did you give that little old lady? Not a problem, a longer stick. <laughs> His fella came home from work and he could hear activity in the bedroom of a sexual nature. He went up the stairs and he opened the door with trepidation. His heart was pumping and his worst nightmare. As he opened the door, his best mate, best pal, his best pal, making passionate love to his wife in bed. Well, all this anger welled up inside him. And he was absolutely, what he, he was livid. And he went to this drawer where he kept a gun for the burglars. And he got the gun like that. He went straight to the bed. He went, bang! And shot his father dead. His wife said, you want to change your attitude, do you? <laughs> If you keep like that, you end up with no friends at all. <laughs> <laughs> Love the girls, are you girls? All the girls in tonight. Beryl's in, are you Beryl? Over there, fantastic. I think women are the stronger sex. Do you girls? Yeah. Yeah, look at the lads shoving his pigs, the girls, eh? They're the str you try getting the duvet back at half past two in the morning. I mean, would a man have a baby? Would a man have a baby? No. 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 This is these women, these fantastic women, these wonderful women, these brilliant women. This is a woman, my heroes. Right, nine months gone, right? Due that day. Right, this is a woman. I'm just off up the shops. How brave is that? Can you imagine a fella pregnant? Could you see him, girls? Nine months gone. Where is he? On the couch. Oh. Oh. 
oh, could you get us a Stella? I was with the wife when she had the baby. Mind you, I sat up the talking end. People take videos now, you know, they take videos of the wife having the baby. And see, are they the videos? Are you, are all the guests? I'm, this is what the videos. You go round for a curry. Like see the wife having the baby. No, I just had my chicken ticket, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, the good old days. The world's gone mad now. I don't know what's happened to the world today. It's gone stupid. It's like clothes, you buy clothes for kids now. Cost a fortune. I bought my lad some trainers, size of his feet, half his body's on the floor. <laughs> His voice is breaking. Oh, turn on. Turn on some new trainers. Um. I'll oh, smell trainers. Um. Hey, Jordan, Nike. I said, what's wrong with Dunlop Green Flash? That's what we have. 80 pound a pair. 80 pound. Round of applause for the juggler. And, uh, 80 pound. I never paid 80 pound, obviously. Got him at the catalogue. Woo! Pound down, change of address. <laughs> <laughs> I bought some trainers once off the market, my market. So wherever you're from, you can transfer this to your market. So I've gone to my market, it's just the same as your market. And there was second sportswear, and there was my last trainers, exactly the same, on his seconds. Something wrong with them. Now you girls are brilliant at buying seconds, aren't you? So I've gone across and you, you look, you suss it like, and I'm, I picked them up, a fiver, fiver, same as my lads, except seconds, something wrong with them. There was only one stripe. I said, what are these called? He said, ad. I said, there's only one lace. He said, look what it says inside, Taiwan. <laughs> 